The Shinning's 1.8 trillion facilities in Chigogwa sits on 150 acres of land and it will manufacture quality biological drugs, the mRNA vaccine, that will be sold at relatively low price to their clients. They, Biopharma, will produce all the biological medicines listed as essential drugs. When Mama Rebecca Kadaga addressed it, and automatically the naysayers, those who don't understand your vision and development for this country, went after it and demonized it. Magola was called a mofere, yet he is not. Today, I want in front of you to tell them Muswadi. The project is here. The project will continue. Whatever sabotage will come Magola's way, this project will go on and we will serve and produce the medicines that require to make Africa self-reliant. Commissioning the plant at Chigogwa in Wakso district, President Museveni saluted the proprietors for this massive investment in the field of science. He also revealed that the government is committed towards funding research innovations. So really, I want to salute Magora, salute his, his family, his wife, and those who have been sticking with him, because this is part of the resistance movement. You resist all these bad people. You don't give up. When we were here, it was the same story. We were resisting. Now Magora has had to fight. And others, everybody who does something good in Africa is fought by the new colonial Africans. But in Africa, there is a colony in Mugaso. In Africa, there is a colony in Mugaso. There is a They can't see value. They can't see value. They can't see value. They can't see value. They can't see on the issue of limited raw materials to be used by the pharmaceutical plant, President Museveni assured the factory that they should not worry because Ugandans are very hard working and will be able to produce the raw materials. Importing, 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 importing. But you find people who say they are leaders, they don't care about that. That's why Africa has got so many, so many problems. I'm very happy when I see some people coming up, like Magora. This young man, you heard what triggered his interest. A team from the World Health Organization previously visited the facility and expressed satisfaction at which it was shaping up. The commissioning was witnessed by the first deputy prime minister, Rebecca Kadaga, and the former prime minister, Amama Mbabazi, who were elected with the new development. So from this small village of Matuga, the whole world is going to be supplied. So it's a very, very big thing for us. Uh, by way of import subscription, but also capacity building and employment. And as all of us are aware, where there is demand, there will be supply. And this vacuum is too often filled by substandard and falsified medicines, peddled by organizations searching for profit, no matter what the human cost. On his part, Mathas Magola, the managing director, they by Pharma Limited, said that the $500 million project, which will be implemented in phases, is being funded by the Egypt Bank, Uganda Development Bank, and other institutions. I'm Jay Sassidant, reporting for News in Chigogwa, Waxo District.